There are mountains and there's the king's rock. First of all, I didn't forget to shave, it's just a phase. Secondly, behind me is the Botorok fountain, we are in Piatra Krajului mountains, also called the King's Rock. Edit couldn't come this time, so we are starting this hike with Blanca, whom you saw in the video about the Yokai hike for at least 3 frames. And we are leaving to Kurmatura hut. We are climbing on the typical yellow line marking and the objective for today is the Piatra Mika Peak, meaning Little Rock, which I've never climbed before. I traversed the whole ridge of the King's Rock, I climbed Diabol's route, I hiked around the Diana Shelter, but I've never been on the Little Rock. Yesterday, after I pissed my tent and I put my map and sleeping bag inside, you won't guess what happened. My mattress deflated. In the last year this is the third mattress that deflates under me. This is the mattress that Edith used the whole time during our trip in Iceland without problems. But I'm already a pro after the experience in Iceland where we had to repair my mat, I have found a hole in just a few short hours. So what can I say, I took care of it fast. At least I wasn't bored during the night. Unfortunately it's not perfect. I have to inflate it every 3 hours, but at least I could get some sleep. After that, the next morning didn't start without problems either. At our accommodation there was a camp for children and the organizers considered that it's a good idea to wake up the kids with loud music from speakers. And if everybody was awake anyway, let the music shout. This is how you're supposed to educate the kids at the camp, with blaring music. The next day it was the same, so I couldn't abstain myself and told one of the organizers that going into nature shouldn't be associated in the future generation with making noise, especially if there are others around as well. Hopefully they will take it into consideration in the future, but I may be naive. We have arrived to Zanaga Meadow in an hour and 10 minutes. The weather is perfect. And soon we'll see a lot of beautiful things. We're at the junction where we'll return from the Little Rock. According to the sign it's one hour, one hour and a half in ascent, so we'll need an hour for the descent and one more hour to the car. Very crowded on Saturday, we are getting close to the hut and if I'm not mistaken, here's the mountain rescue team. We are on time, we arrive to the hut in 2 hours and 5 minutes, we'll rest a little and get some water, then we prepare for the worst. <laughs> It wasn't easy to find this spring with a very slow flow, even if it's close to the hut at exactly 21 meters distance, but kind of hidden. Near the spring I found two compasses with thermometer. Because at the hut I still had signal, I posted it on Facebook in the biggest mounting group, perhaps the owner will see it there, they could be still around. For the sake of good old times, we dressed up as miners. <laughs> Only older folks will understand the joke and we are beginning our climb to the little rock. We have here a sign for a detour and signaling falling rocks, so pretty with the helmets. We are starting.
for 4 hours and we're getting close to the little rock, the meadow which we crossed and the hut. There were some easy rock climbing portions, but it's totally worth it, we can see nicely all around. And we are arriving to the little rock peak, which seems to be marked only with a rock cairn, because the group we met wasn't sure if they were on the peak already or not. We moved quite quickly, it took us 4 hours and a half to reach the summit, and the view is beautiful. There's the main ridge of the King's Rock, to the right the northern ridge, then the southern one, and if we look a little bit further, there's the Buchej Mountains. We are descending to the Noaga Meadow, and this steep trail in the forest is pretty unpleasant. But we'll arrive soon, then continue the way we came. left six and a half hours ago and we are just getting back to the junction and from there we have about one more hour. The footage stops here suddenly and not without reason. A few minutes before getting to the car, already in the dark, I realized that something happened to me that never happened in decades of hiking. I lost my car keys. I don't know how, it was in the same pocket of my pants as always, I guess I somehow pulled it out with my phone when I was filming or making pictures. Since then, even for short walks, I used the key clip of my backpack. The next day we searched every centimeter of every place where I took pictures or videos, but we couldn't find it. We announced the mountain rescue, the hut, the police and the national park, but we heard nothing about it and it's almost almost two years since then. Our luck in the bad fortune that Edith couldn't come for this hike, so she could send a reserve key with the night train and one of my friends in Brasov could take it to our tent. But we still had one more challenge to solve. We were 15 kilometers away from the camping site. Luckily, we only had to walk five out of those because someone picked us up with their car. The trail climbs 1000 meters and descends the same amount, alternating between steep and gentle portions. For experienced hikers it shouldn't cause any serious problems, so the physical difficulty is 6 vampire teeth. The most difficult parts are the easy rock climbing and the steep descent in the forest over some scree, the technical difficulty being 7 vampire teeth. We have a close view of the main ridge of the King's Rock and the beautiful panorama of the important mountain ranges around. In busy periods the crowds could cause slight discomfort, but their number decreases significantly after the hut and slightly after the junction to the main ridge. All in all, the satisfaction factor is 8 vampire teeth. 